All right, we're going to solve this with elimination. We want the variables, one of the variables, either x or y, we can pick which one to do first. We want there to be opposite numbers, opposite coefficients in front. And so y is the best choice here because one has a positive 2, one has a negative 2. So let's just write that down here. If we, once we have opposite coefficients, we add the equations together. And that's going to eliminate the variable that has opposite coefficients. So the 4 plus 5x gives me, gives me 9x. Negative 2y plus positive 2y is 0y. It's eliminated. There's 0 of them. So that was the goal. That's what we got. And then add the numbers over here, 27. Divide both sides here by 9 now, and you get what x is. x is 3. So we're halfway to our solution. We know what the x value is. We do not know what the y value is. Now this part is quicker and easier once you know one of the numbers, we know x, we can just plug that in to either equation. It does not matter which equation we use. You can use the top one, you can use the bottom one. Just plug a 3 in for x. So I'll just, I'll just do the top one. They both look pretty similar. 4 times 3 is 12. Minus 2y equals 16. So I just plug, plug that number I already found in there for the letter it is. X is 3. I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides and now divide both sides by negative 2 and I get the y coordinate of negative 2. So that is the solution. Now quickly here I want to show that same exact answer but doing it this time by eliminating the x. So y was the quicker choice because they were already set up like that but I can choose to get rid of the x's. I just need to manipulate the numbers in front of them. I can do that by multiplying the entire equation by a value. So 4 and 5 can both be changed to 20. I'm going to multiply this entire top equation by negative 5. That will give me negative 20x plus 10y equals negative, uh, is, that, is that 90? 80, negative 80. Uh, 16 times 5. All right. Now on the bottom, I need to multiply everything by a positive 4. That's going to give me 20x plus 8y equals 44. Now this time when I add the equations, the x is negative 20 and positive 20 equals 0. I'm going to get 18y. 10 plus 8 is 18. And over here, I'm going to have a negative uh, 36. Negative 80 plus positive 44. To get y by itself, divide by 18, and you get that same result of negative 2. So now I have the y coordinate first of negative 2. Notice it's the same y coordinate we got when we solved this the first time by eliminating the y's first. Here we eliminated the x's, and we get the negative 2. Now I plug that into an equation. Again, it does not matter which one. I'll just stick with using the top one. 4x and then minus 2 times negative 2. So I'm plugging in negative 2 times 2. We'd be minusing negative 4. A little tricky there with minusing the negatives. That's going to be a plus 4 equals 16. Subtract 4 from both sides. Divide both sides by 4. X is 3. So you get that same exact result uh, whichever way you proceed through this. And now let me quickly show the graph. And so I just popped into an online graphing calculator here. If you do Desmos graphing calculator you get this and you can just type in your equations. I type them in there and you can see where the two lines cross. It's at the point 3 for X, negative 2 for Y. This is visually what we found. These two lines, where do they cross? 3, negative 2, uh, and then algebraically we found it right here.